Funny the things we forget. The little moments we took away inside our minds. Maybe we put them there for safekeeping. So they won't dull and lose their glow from too much handling. Maybe we know the time will come when we'll need to summon these memories. Some in splendor. Soaring in the wind like butterflies. I can't think of a happier time in my life than my childhood with my sisters in Ojo de Agua. I don't need to be lectured on fairness, Minerva Mirabal. It was an accident. The day and Papa didn't break the china. They only dropped it. The floor broke it. Come on, Papa. They were just trying to help Mama set the table. Nobody got hurt. They have to learn the value of things. Okay, I have a deal for you. They broke two plates, one glass, and one cup, total value of three pesos. We have agreed... Eat your dinner. We have agreed that you can take ten cents out of everyone's allowance for the next eight weeks. But let my sisters out of the house. Minerva is going to argue with St. Peter at the gate. I'm just trying to help my sisters. She's representing us. She's our <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> just what we need in this country. Skirts on the bench. Which brings me to my next subject. School applications are due next week. You can forget about that. But why? I don't want you to go to school and be out there alone without the family. I won't, if you allow my sisters to come with me. Enrique, you've got good money. And most important, we have a social position. Now our daughters need the education to go along with it. In our patria. If she's to become a nun. How could anyone want to sacrifice nice dresses to wear those awful habits? <laughs> That's no sacrifice at all. It's a waste of a pretty girl. That's what it is. Besides, if all my little chickens leave, what will become of me? Who will help me with my business? I'll stay and help you, Papa. You see? It's settled. Nothing then is settled. I'll stay with you and... You'll do as I say. Nobody's going to leave this house.
Herba. Thank you, Mama. It's not charity. It's a friendship thing. As seniors, all women are likely to get sick around this time in their life, and the illness comes in the shape of blood. Blood that represents the scene of our forefathers, Adam and Eve. As soon as you feel that you may have any new complications within your body, you should come to see me. So, the donkey climbs on top of the sheet donkey and he puts its peeing thing inside her peeing thing. Then, the donkey, he starts making this really loud noise and the sheet donkey kicks her hind legs. <laughs> People, they do it. Your father. My father is dead. Well, then your uncle and your aunt. My uncles are dead, too. As I am quite sure you have all heard by now, we are extremely fortunate. Our generous benefactor has agreed to honor us with his presence at Inmaculada Concepcion. President Trujillo has always been very generous to our school. And we want this to be a special opportunity to honor him. On a day like today, the 24th of October of 1891, Rafael Leonidas Trujillo was born. Our motherland was reborn that day. We are deeply honored to have as our guest today, our beloved President Trujillo. <laughs> For my motherland, for my people, I must do more than what has been done. The motherland is the future, and we are the ones who shall make history. The future will crown the brave, the hardworking people, and we will walk towards it with confidence, shielded by our commitment to serve humanity.
I am the shackled fatherland. Dare I now hope for freedom from my woes? Oh, liberty, unfold your brilliant bow. Splendid performance. What is your name? Minerva Mirabal. You're very pretty, Minerva. And pray. I remember that name. Disappear. If your family asks too many questions, prove they disappear too. This can be true, Sinita. Who's been telling you all this? You haven't been listening to me, have you? He killed my father. He killed my brother. He killed my uncles. Like he's killed thousands of people in this country. Now are you listening to me? There are many things you don't know about your general Trujillo. Hey, look, look. Please, look. Come on, please. Where are they taking Lina? <gasps> Lina never came back to school. There were stories. She lived in a big mansion. She carried Trujillo's baby. She was banished to Miami. All I knew was that she was gone. So was Sinita. She vanished. And I was afraid to find out why. We're almost there. Look, that's Paquita's house. We spent five years at school together. On the ride back home, I had the chilling realization that maybe everything I had experienced had been for nothing. And there I was, with all my knowledge, going back where I began. The farm. Morales, a teacher at the university. Hello. And this is Patria, Minerva, Dede, and Mate. Hello. I mean, Jaime was telling me that he has some pretty cousins, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> What a refined young man. What do you teach at university, Leo? I teach law. Minerva wants to be a lawyer. In what country? In this one, right here. Well, last I heard, women weren't allowed to study law. Last you heard, you hadn't heard of Minerva Mirabal. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be a lawyer? You look more like a farm girl from here. I don't want to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a lawyer. What for? Because I believe in justice. Justice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> here, there is no justice. Only fights to be fought. Well, I'm a very good fighter. And what battles have you won? Some. Some. Small ones. But you have to start somewhere. Well, you're not going to win any of the big ones with two eggs in your hand. I want you to read this. It's by Jose Marti, the Cuban liberator. I know who Jose Marti is. So you've read him. Hmm? 
No. You can't let go. I've been doing my own reading since I was six. Leo, let's go. Have you read this? Don't you care what happens to any of us? Good morning. Did either of you know about that? About what? A demonstration at the university last week, led by a bunch of young professors, Virgilio Morales among them. Enemies of the state. It says here. Ay, mama. Anyone who believes in fair government is an enemy of the state these days. Nerva, are you trying to get us all killed? What sort of government is this that we're afraid to speak in our own home? The kind where the words have ears and every household has someone on the payroll. So you watch that mouth of yours, Minerva Mirabal. You will not see that young man again. Not in this house, not anywhere. Do you understand? But, Mama, you heard Leo's ideas and you liked them. I didn't know they were communist ideas. You're gonna get yourself killed if you keep going up against them. Well, they better do it quickly. Because I'm leaving this country. If I can only make it to my right. I don't understand why you want to go around stirring things up anyway. Why don't you just leave it well enough? Because alone? it's not well enough today, don't you understand? This regime is insane. Do you know that Trujillo has a secret campaign to make our population whiter than it is? He secretly murders thousands of black Haitians that cross the border because, listen to this, he claims that they're contaminating the Dominican race. Welcome to the revolution. Butterfly. Let's go. I don't think you can topple through here from the mountains of another country. Well, I can't do it if I'm dead either. But if I stay, I won't last long, Minero. I'm still going to fight the regime, but from a safe distance. That's my right. Will you write to me? Every day.
I didn't yet understand Leo's revolution, only that it had taken him away from me, and that without him, my life felt empty. Patria's life took an unexpected turn, and when her calling came, it was not the sort we expected. Anything for me, Papa? No, not today. Your friends from Immaculada must be too busy getting married and having babies to write letters. You should find a nice boy from a good family and marry him in Nirvana. No nice boy for a good family is going to want to marry a lawyer. Would you are not and would you never will be? When are you going to come back to reality? Bye, Minerva. Since the last time I saw you, Minerva, not a day has gone by when I don't think of you. And although this is the fourth letter I write to you without response, I can't help I'm so far from you. Lost in these mountains, but I've never felt so close to any. I still haven't heard from you. I long to kiss your lips and talk to your I'll mind. I'll write to you, and I'll write to you until we're free How together. How she goes through my things? That's to remind you to respect your father. You don't have my respect anymore. I was trying to protect you. I know of at least three of Virgilio's friends who have disappeared. You can be safe if you stay in contact with him. Enrique, Captain Peña is here to see you. Captain Peña, to what do we owe this honor? President Trujillo has referred to the presence of your daughter Minerva at the party he's giving at the palace. You and your other lovely daughters are also invited. We are not worthy of such an honor, Captain Peña. Unfortunately, I haven't been feeling well lately. The president will miss you, senora. For the rest of you, this is a party I wouldn't miss. Have a good day.
Cómo bailan las mujeres en merengue, cómo mueven las caderas sin parar. Cuando escuchan este ritmo cadencioso, bailen, bailen, merengue y a cantar. Que merengue, lo gritan, que merengue, que merengue, merengue para bailar. Que merengue, lo gritan, que merengue. table is right over there. No, no, my dear. El Jefe has invited you to that table. That's quite an honor. Go on, my daughter. Don't worry. We are here. Don Manuel, how are you? <laughs> Ambassador, it's so good to see you. Son. Hi. Have the pleasure. You are a beautiful dancer. Thank you. But then again, women from El Cibao are beautiful dancers. Is your wife from El Cibao? I'm talking about the national treasure I'm holding in my arms. I don't feel much like a national treasure. Why not? You're a Jew. I feel like I'm wasting my life in the Kodiawa. You should come to the capital. That's exactly what I keep telling Papa. I want to go to law school, here. Women are not allowed in law school. They would be if you said so. Universities are not good for women. Oh. Your medals are hurting. Oh. Excuse me. Is there anything else I can do to please you? Sir. Please, Jefe, let me take my daughter home.
That was such a stupid thing to do. I will send a telegram of apology to El Jefe. He'll understand, Padre. You're right, Papa. Do it before things get worse. What did you want me to do? He grabbed my ass. Minerva. It was an immediate reaction. You don't slap Trujillo. You should have thought about it. Well, maybe if I had thought about it, I would have done exactly the same thing. Because if I let him grab my axe, next is going to grab my breast. And Minerva, next... I will not tolerate this language in this house. Minerva did what her conscience dictated. No one is to blame for that. A telegram to apologize. He'll understand. Mirabal. He is my husband. What do you want? Captain Peña wants to see him immediately. We're looking for a prisoner. Enrique Mirabal, we've been coming for two weeks every day and you still can tell us where he is. Get this document stamped correctly and perhaps we can help you. These documents have been stamped correctly for two days now. Look again. He seems to have a special interest in your case. I tried to handle it here, but the orders came from the top. He sent a telegram. Yes, yes, I know. He's just a farmer. He doesn't want to get involved in any trouble. What is he accused of? Whatever it is, I'm positive it's just a misunderstanding. It could be cleared up. Can you take us to him? It will be better all the way around if we follow orders. Isn't that right, Senorita Minerva?
I will do whatever I need to do to make sure my father's all right. Uh, listen, Senorita Minerva, don't, um, don't misunderstand me. I'm a man of honor. But to be honest with you, I believe there's a way you can help your father. Senorita Minerva Mirabal. It seems like you left quite an impression on my police department. Please sit down. Jefe, I've come to plead for my father's release. Please sit down. I would like to invite you here to the palace till we work these matters out. I would have to ask my mother. She's waiting for me outside in the car. I'm sure she'll be very, very flattered with your hospitality. Let's leave it to the will of fate, shall we? The roll of the die. If you win, I'll do everything I can to make sure that you, your father, and your mother leave here together. If you lose, I'll do everything I can to make sure that your mother and father leave here together. And you will stay. Is that why my father is in prison? I believe he's just being questioned. Am I wrong? Then let me raise the stakes, Jefe. How so? If I win, you will release my father. And you will allow me to go to law school. And if you lose? Then you will release my father. And you'll get your wish. Congratulations. You could still roll an ace. I have no interest in ties, winning or losing. With me or against me. It's what I believe in. You may leave. Stop feeding the hugs. Enrique, the yucas are fine. And so are the hogs. We apologized. We apologized. Escupiosa apudeum redentio, et ipsi redime d'Israel, ex omnibus iniquitatibus eius. Nomini patri, et fili. Espiritisante. 
señora. My condolences. Thank you, Captain. Señorita, your father was a good man. For his heart to give out like that, it's uh, so unfortunate. My father had a big, strong heart. It gave up because he was tortured. You speak from grief. El Jefe asked me to express to you his deepest sympathies and uh, to give you this. Sending you to law school doesn't make it any better. How can you accept the murderer's gift? Because it's the only way I have to fight him back. I took the train again, this time on my own. I had played against Trujillo, and in winning, I had lost. armed forces. He executes the laws, carries out the multiple businesses of the state, and represents the island in international relations. He wrote to our cell, asking if anyone had seen you at law school. We all laughed at the idea of a woman being admitted. He said he'd like to call you a butterfly. back. Trujillo hunts down his enemies like dogs, whatever they are. Why doesn't everyone know this? Most people don't want to know. Everyone's too scared. I want to know it. And I want to do something about it. Fear is the best breeding ground for this regime. Everyone in this country lives in fear. Everyone just goes along, minding their own business, turning away the truth. Then one day, something happens. And you can't look away anymore. You're afraid not to get involved, not to fight back, because you know, you realize that no one you care about is safe anymore. That's right. My brother's only crime was to be out of a job. He was taken by the police and accused of vagrancy. Nobody has been able to tell me where he is, but I'm sure he's in one of those camps that Trujillo has out in the fields. They treat him like prisoners and make them work until they die. The police say the camps don't exist, according to them. Nothing exists. Only Trujillo, the great. Well, that's where we're having our biggest problem. Trying to make people understand what the real situation is. That's what we need to do. 
educate people about what is really going on in this country. Everybody, this is a law student who wants to work with us. Her name is Butterfly. Go ahead, Butterfly. Paulo and I have made a list with the people who have disappeared last month. We have more than 300 names on it. We need to make copies and distribute them so people know what Trujillo is doing. up here in Bella Vista, and we'll deliver them all the way here to the warehouse, okay? It's very important. I was going crazy on the farm. It's more boring than ever now that Patrick's having kid after kid and the dead being an only one. You don't want it. Mata, you, don't, you cannot stay here. I wouldn't be any trouble. I can sleep on a couch or even a mat on the floor. Oh, no, 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 no. This no, place no. looks lovely. Yes. Where did but you get all you the You have to go back. What was that? Nothing. You don't have a man in here, do you? No. Let's go. My mom must be so worried about you. You can't just run away. Where are we going? It's a good thing the bus station's only a couple of blocks away. You'll be home before midnight. I'll call my what? man, tell her some story, whatever you please. What's the matter with you? <sighs> Mate, you're not gonna like it here. The city is, I don't know, just trust me, you're not gonna like it here. There you go again, treating me like I'm stupid. I'm not a child anymore. I'm capable of making my own decisions, and I've decided to stay in this city and get a line. I'll sleep on the streets if necessary, but I'm not going back. Okay. You're right, Mate. But I'm sorry. You cannot stay with me. I'll help you get a place for tonight. Here. You'll need money. I don't want your help. I don't know who you are anymore. Mate! You did the right thing. You're protecting her. Butterfly has been our inspiration. Butterfly? It's her underground name. I'm Leandro, but I go by Palomino. So, I guess from now on we're going to have more than just one butterfly, aren't we? Same thing you are. 
Did you get her into this? Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? <gasps> Recruiting people? Get out of here now. Minerva, not a child anymore. Come on, let's go. If you can take the risk, then so can I. This is personal. Trujillo hates me. He killed Papa because of me. I don't want any more family blood on my hands. Get out. He was my father as well. to the correctional home or to the countryside to cultivate the land or do whatever the government decides. Correct. Or else he will be returned to his parents or closest relatives if they compromise to take care of him and, and make, make him, him a productive, productive person. Manolo. Do you think we're productive people? Or do you think we're just a pair of fools? What do you mean? You know. Maybe we're dreaming of something that will never happen. Yeah, maybe. But I'd rather die finding out than live knowing I didn't do anything about it. I, Minerva Mirabal, Take you, Manolo Tavares, to be my husband. I promise to be your lover and your friend, your ally in conflict and adventure, your greatest adversary, and your biggest admirer. Viva Manolo and Minerva! Viva! Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Doña Minerva Mirabal. Seems that the university has treated you well. Thank you, Jefe. Fate was kind to you. I just hope it's all been worthwhile. I promised you that I would allow you to attend law school. Nothing was said about allowing you to practice law. Besides, you're a wife now, soon to be a mother. You'll have enough work as it is. Congratulations. Dinero, Candido. Congratulations. Figueroa, Esteban, thank you, sir. Congratulations. Ramirez, Juan, thank you. Congratulations. What is it? What happened? Fernandez. He's been planning this all along. He's been so looking forward to this moment. He has other moments coming to him that he won't enjoy so much. We tried to keep people informed, but Trujillo's regime worked faster than we could. He was feeding the people a dictator's favorite diet, bread and fear. The birth of Minu made me want to forget everything. Manolo, do you know where Omar Munoz is? But the killing of my friends brought me back to reality. Last I heard, he was in Salcedo, but no one was safe.
I'm going away with Manolo, and I was hoping you could take care of Mino and Manolita till we get back. What if you don't come back? Have you thought of that? Mama is worried sick about you and Mate, about what you're doing in the capital. We're doing what has to be done. Getting your children behind? Is that what has to be done? I can't be part of anything you're doing. You choose for yourself, and I choose for me and for my family. Then you have to ask yourself what it is you're choosing for your family. You can't hide from things just because they're ugly, Patria. Minerva, I'll take care of your children. Thank you, sister. At least tell us where you're going. It's better if I don't. When I left Patria's house, I was torn apart. I couldn't bear to leave my children, but I wanted them to have a better life. I pray that they would understand. this happened? Well, ma, um, I've been prevented from practicing love, so I'm in the delivery business now, and um, I need a place to store some of this fruit for a few days. Romino, are you okay? Yeah, are you all right? I was so worried about you. I was worried about myself, too. But... Come on, we have to know this. What is in those crates? You don't want to know. What are you going to do with them? Bury them. Here? Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? People will see you. No, let's take them behind my house. to hide their weapons in our land! Mm. 
They are my sisters, and this is my father's land. They are going to leave the truck and the crates here no matter what's inside them, and no matter what you say. I'm not going to turn my back on them. We know that some of you in the church sympathize with the movement ideas. So what is it you want? To join forces and fight back. You're talking about violence? No. We're talking about the church helping us to reach its people and tell them the truth. It's not an army that we're putting together, Father. It's everyone. Students, workers, mothers and fathers. Even some of the rich. We want to help you organize your congregation and to contact other priests to do the same, Father. We need everyone. There's only so much truhi you can do against the church. Are you with us, Father? I am. For too long, our little island has been clutching to the iron grip of the dictator. He has smothered resistance and suppressed anyone who speaks of freedom. This regime is based on fear, violence, and oppression. But this time is coming to an end now. Todo el pueblo dominicano acabará uniéndose contra la tiranía de Rafael Leónidas Trujillo. Él es el responsable de todos los crímenes políticos cometidos en nuestro país. Trujillo es el responsable de las torturas. Careful. This cause is not just for men, it is a cause for women too. We cannot allow our children grow up in this tyranny. We have to fight against it. We have to be prepared to give everything, even our life if it's necessary.
Minerva Mirabal. The butterflies are alive. Silence. I am alive too. Nicholas is alive. Esteban is alive. Cayetano is alive. Manala! Is Manala alive? Let's go! Let's go! Manala! I'll make this easy for you. I want the names of everyone in your group. <laughs> the names. Do you want to see your husband die? Right here? Funny the things I forgot. And now I'm struggling to remember to keep myself alive. My father's eyes, Io's voice, my children's laughter, Manolo's hands, love, justice. Your family is safe and well. Your husband is alive, but he's been transferred. Who are you? Long live the butterflies. There's a donkey pulling a flower cart. What color is the donkey? He's gray and chubby. It's a fat little donkey with long floppy ears. <gasps> Minerva! Minerva, come and look. You have to look, Minerva. I've come for your bucket.
What is it? Venezuelan President Romulo Betancourt has filed charges with the Organization of American States claiming that the Dominican government was involved with an attempt upon his life. It's happening. It's finally, finally happening. I am Roberto Arroyo of Colombia. We represent the Organization of American States. Señorita Mirabal, what's your cell like? Comfortable. Have you or any other prisoners been tortured? No. We are very well treated here. Have you any complaints at all? María Teresa Mirabal. from them? No. I mean, no. Come on, let's go. Thank God. I'm so proud of you. This is not forever. You'll get better. You've got to come out of this room. Oh, I can't. It's too much. Too much? Noise. Light. Life. Minerva, you have to be strong again. We need to get our husbands back.
You know what I mean, Edward? Good morning. I have some very good news for you. I just learned that your husbands are safe and well. So I made some inquiries for you, and I just found out that they're all being held in different prisons. I pulled some strings, and now they're all being moved to Puerto Plata. The jefe has granted me permission to visit them. Can you please tell El Jefe that we are all very thankful for his generosity? You're going to be able to thank him yourselves. He's going to be stopping at your place on his way to San Julián to hear your words of gratitude. Minerva, what's wrong? We all know what's wrong. People look up to us now. If we welcome Trujillo in our home and pay tribute to him as if nothing has happened, we're gonna send the wrong message. You don't have to believe in whatever you might say to him. It's just going to buy us some peace of mind. Yes, but for how long? How many more humiliations do we have to take? You have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. Go get your grandma. It is a great honor to have you here in Ojoliawa. I love to drop by on people. See how they really live. I am very happy to have this opportunity to thank you for our release from prison. Well, now that you've gotten your second chance, what are your plans for your new life? I'm afraid I will need your help one more time. I've known you for many, many years. You've done pretty well without it. I think we both know that's not true. You're relentless. Fighting so bravely for a lost cause. Then again, maybe I'm finding a lost cause, too. Can you please help us get our husbands out of prison? I will do everything I can to end your troubles. for them, Doña Mercedes. You can rely upon me.
It was so good to talk. Only Pedrito looks so thin. We'll get them home and fatten them up. We are being followed. Step out of the jeep. All of you. Just a moment. I have my papers. Move! Don't believe in this. Please let us go. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. 